hello <clears throat> in this tutorial we are going to be solving this exponential equation the question says 2 to power x to power 3 equals 256 so what is the value of x so we are going to be looking for the all the possible values of x here so therefore i'm going to rewrite this equation like this 2 to the power of x to the power of 3 because this 256 can be written as 2 to the power of 8. So when to multiply itself 8 times, we're going to have 256. So therefore, for the fact that the two bases are the same, this implies that x to the power 3 equals what? Equals 8. So now from there, we can see that x to the power 3 will now be 2 to the power what? To the power 3 again. So therefore, I can send this to this side that is by transposing 2 to the power of 3 to the both sides of the equation so now from there so here we we'll see that this is taking the form of a to the power 3 minus b to the power 3 which is the difference of two cubes so we have a minus b a squared plus a b plus b what b squared so therefore so we're going to see that the x is a now then we have 2 to be b so this is going to be x minus 2 x squared plus 2x plus b is 2 4 we have 4 because 2 squared so now from there the next thing we're going to do is we are going to find that x minus 2 x squared plus 2x plus 4 is now equal to 0. <coughs> so now from here, we are going to be having x minus 2 equals 0, or we have x plus x to the power 2 plus 2x plus 4 equals 0 so now from here x will be 2 by transposing this minus 2 to this sign so here we are going to use quadratic formula to get the value of x here so we know what are a that is the constant coefficient of the x square is 1 b is the coefficient of 2 which is 2 of x which is 2 then we have c to be 4 that is the constant term so now from there, <coughs> you're going to see that we have x to be minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac over what? Over 2a. So now from there, we are going to plug in all these values into this equation. We have minus 2 plus or minus the b square is b is 2 2 square we're going to have 4 minus 4 a is 1 the c is 4 then 4 times 1 times 4 over 2 times 1 so here we have what x to be equals minus 2 plus or minus so everything 4 minus 4 times 4 is 16 you have 4 minus 16 over 2 are you following so now from there <coughs> let's come to this side x is going to be minus 2 plus or minus 4 minus 16 that will give us minus 12 over 2 so we have x equals so now 4 minus we have minus 12 here so we can split this minus here as plus 2 plus or minus 4 times 3 then times minus 1 because of the minus 1 that is there over 2 so we have x to be equals minus 2 plus or minus 2 root 3 but this root of minus 1 is what is i so in the complex plane 
divided by 2. So we have x to be equals. Now you can see we have 2 here, we have 2 here, we have 2 here. We can divide true by 2. So that is minus 2 over 2 plus 2 root 3i over, over 2. So you see that 2, we cancel this 2 here. This 2, we cancel this 2 here. Don't forget your plus or minus. Right, so from there, we're going to have what? We're going to have our final answer to be. So from here. x is now equals minus 1 plus or minus root 3i. So therefore we have x2 to be minus 1 plus root 3i and x3 is minus 1 minus root 3i. So we have this, this and what okay let me write it out then x1 is what x2 according to what we have so these are the three possible values okay of the equation so if you find the class very interesting so do not hesitate to share this class to your colleagues consider subscribing if you have not done that hit on the bell icon so that you'll be notified anytime you upload the new content thank you for watching bye, -bye.